The Effect of Antidepressants on the Synapse When people are diagnosed with anxiety disorders, the doctor usually prescribes antidepressants. About 18.1 of U.S. adults are affected by some form of anxiety disorder. Even then, there is still a huge chunk of people who are not diagnosed, but they have the same symptoms as someone who is diagnosed. So the main way that they cope with their problems is our antidepressants like alcohol. Antidepressants do not directly reduce arousal in the brain. They enhance the activity of a neurotransmitter that reduces arousal in the brain. The main form of antidepressants are TCA and MAOIs. TCAs increase both norepinephrine and serotonin concentrations, whereas MAOIs work by stopping the breakdown of moamine neurotransmitters, which help the brain's concentration of neurotransmitters at levels that help improve mood. However, antidepressants can be abused, and getting off antidepressants may also be challenging. Since antidepressants increase serotonin levels, it will make you happier, so the withdrawal of stopping will make people feel like they're depressed all over again. Also, since they make you feel better, there's going to be a misconception that, uh, that it, will, it will help them, and they're going to take more of it, which is not good for the brain. Right now, the main alternative to taking prescription medications is to go to a therapist or a group a therapy session. However, I think a combination of both a group therapy slash therapist, as well as taking a prescribed medication with low doses would be the best way to deal with the, uh, an anxiety disorder. Because just taking antidepressants to deal with an anxiety disorder is not the correct way to go. The way it affects the normal function of the brain is something that shouldn't be dealt with. The repercussions will be drastic.